How's it going, folks? Welcome back to No Man's Sky. Now, I do want to take off. But... I want to see... I thought I saw something before. But not just this. A Gek Relic. I saw a stone before. Charging. Sure, I saw it. It's coming up, though. Here's a knowledge stone, here we go. But no, that's not the one I saw. There's more in the open. But I'll take it. Convergence. Oh, there you are. <laughs> it's over here. Yeah, it's already in the open. Life form. Okay. Okay, so what I'm looking at, uh, so we had exploration guide, I can't seem to find that last couple of them, so I might just leave it. Uh, let's have a look at Awakenings. I've received a strange communication from an unknown source, a voice spoke to me though it almost seemed as if it were speaking to someone else. They were cut off as strangely as they began and I need a set of coordinates. I received a set of coordinates. Locate the coordinates sent to you by looking for the mission icon on your HUD. The Soy. Stranger's coordinates. Shopo.
he underwater? What? They are underwater. We got a crash site over here. Coordinate data partially corrupted. Paradox. What is it called? What did it say about the planet? Weather beautiful. Sentinels limited. Flora full. Fauna frequent. I thought it said something about paradise. What? Sentient plant? Tag that. The Master of Death. The Master of Death, hey, let's steal all his stuff before we die. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans and upgrade for my mining beam. Ooh, advanced mining laser. Replaces standard mining beam optics with high-grade living glass, allowing the beam to be more effective against large and or rare resource deposits. The lens adapts automatically to minute fluctuations in the beam waveform, minimizing scatter and increasing device mining potential. All right. Let's do it. So that would replace this, right? I would just... Do I get rid of that altogether? Or do I have to have both of them? Oh, we can also put a bolt caster on. Generalist weapon attachment. So we need a hermetic seal, nanotubes, and a wiring loom. Complete this subcomponent with two times wiring loom. So nanotubes are fine. Hermetic seal's fine. And these looms. Oh, we can I can make these now. Creature bear. Let's make some of that. I can feed them. Uh, but that doesn't help me. With this final bit. Purchase wiring loom from space stations. Okay. Can do. I'll install that for now. View craft steps. 
or pin subcomponents for more details. Unpin for oh okay. Oh where'd you go? Oh damn it! <laughs> Hang on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Pin details, here you go. Alright, so keep an eye on that. What? Shattered bulwark? Starship system is severely damaged? Oh, it's the whole thing's messed up. So I can repair this. It's an interesting looking ship though. Technology is supercharged. The Master of Death. Containment failure. Hydraulics damage cost is 7.95 million 7.9 million so I think this means it's got more space more components installed but damage potential is 94.2 does that mean that means right now but it says potential But imagine that means right now, uh, after I fix it, that's a different story. If I fix it. But is it worthwhile to fix? So my... Photon cannon is 1700. This one's 1700, but it's supercharged. And I can't take any of it with me, can I? Claim ship, add ship to collection. Does it hurt? Cleaned it. I don't know how many ships I can claim. I imagine. Look at that thing. <laughs> imagine I can port it. Even though it does it, it's it's not working at the moment. All right. First of all, sentient plant. I need to have a chat. There's a massive hole over there. Creatures can be fed directly or via the creature section. Bait from the quick menu will calm predators or other anchored creatures. Feeding a creature gains their trust and allows them to be mounted or farmed. Oh. And I think this is the first time we've ever swam. How cool is that? Yes, 
we be under the sea. Move another plant. Oh, it just opens up. Oh, not again. I just talking to the plant. The plant. Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. They're not happy. They're not happy. Jeez, look at us go fast. Surely they can't come out of here. They weren't happy about us doing that. But I went over there now and went to have a chat with the the thing and I just opened up and said, here's my pearl, have it. Were they dropping depth charges or something? Trying to find me. You reckon that's what they'll do? It's a pretty loud sound. Oh, there's some, some fish under there. Largest aquatic life form. Oh, I wonder if that's why I couldn't find... I mean, I don't know if that... I think... Yeah, maybe it did have water. I wonder if that's why I couldn't find uh, what I was looking for. On that other planet. Alright, so this didn't turn out to be what I thought it would be. I thought the plants were going to have a chat with me. <laughs> so, hey, how's it going? I'll leave your pearls alone, how's that? You can keep those pearls. Alright, so we're gonna go to space station. We get some wiring looms. family moving through here. Out of my way. Machinery, more tech. Right, let's get to that space station.
Space station, space station, there you are. Oh, message. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Tell the truth. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We've been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come on board, yes? A proper introduction to our home. Okay. Where is it? Oh, stop! Flying around, I can't track it. Is it down there? No, that's Rose Shop. The Paradise Planet. Maybe it's on the other side there somewhere. Oh, anyway, let's go to the space station. And not fly directly to the sun, please. Board the anomalous space station. over there all right we'll go there after first let's get our looms Now, so we need to buy two wiring looms, I think. Wiring looms times two. You're an agent, but I need this place. Some looms, thanks. One right here, seventy-five thousand each. Done. Advanced mining laser installed. Cool. Now, increasing capacity. Appearance modifier. Ah, okay, okay. All right, you could choose your body type. <laughs> Be slightly taller. Oh, hang on, I'm not done. All right, you can change your colors and helmets. Look at that. It's almost like a, getting a bit of a Boba Fett type of look to it. Helmet Kappa. Get that Kappa helmet.
<laughs> that one's pretty cool. Got blinking eyes. This is like a mine or something. I mean, our, our original one here is pretty damn sweet. Sleek space suit? Sleek space suit? Embroidered suit? Some industrial plating. Antique breastplate. Flare them out a little bit. Change your backpack. <laughs> what? <laughs> Be a superhero. Get a flowing cape. What happens to our backpack, though? Oh, there's a flame. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so we can change. Ah, so right now with the anomaly. But you can change race. Be a traveler, a gek, Viking, Corvax. Interesting. I somehow, you know what, I'd like to make the helmet smaller. I feel like it's too big. We need more of a snug fit. Right now I could fit five heads in there. But who knows, I'm the anomaly, right? Who knows what his head looks like? Got a banner. Dan. The Dan banner. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. That's interesting. I don't know if I really want to change anything. I kind of like my helmet and everything at the moment. Might just stick with it. Oh, I mean, that one's pretty cool. But I kind of, I like my helmet. I don't know, maybe I could change the colors though. Let's go dark red. Let's make it darker. We're even darker than before. All right, how do I exit? All of that. We're crimson red now. Cartographer. The Corvax looks up, swiftly scans me, then reveals their catalog of maps and charts. Cartographic entity. A whole bunch of stuff I have no idea. Uh, ask for help. I ask Cartographer Airdrop for help. They point at a map on their screen, then towards a depiction of the waypoint towers found at most planetary sites. They seem to be requesting I gather data from these towers. Ah, I wonder if I do that. If I gather from... That, that'll that help me find everything I need to find. Like, you know, in terms of exploration. Hang on, what I wanted to do was... Let's see if we can upgrade our suit on, like, more slots or something. 
How do I do that? Not here. Synthetic life form almost crackles with intelligence. Their senses seem to tune into me, calibrating their speech to a comfortable volume. Life form appears to be selling installable exosuit upgrades. Here we go. So, for nanites, I got 397 nanites. So, I can get life support module, movement shield module. Thermal protection, underwater protection, a lot of shields, a lot of protection. Okay, so let's get a let's get a life support module. No, let's get thermal protection. Yeah, let's do that. There's that extra slot. Beautiful. Alright, so it's one per... per space station, right? The more you visit, the more you'll... Uh, find out, I guess. You get more things. More slots. The multi tool costs is 1.9 mil. Now, <laughs> now that I just upgraded all this stuff, can I just bring it over to this new thing if I buy this for 1.9 mil? Trade in current multi tool. Ah, I see. That's the question. Will I actually port all my stuff over? Or do I lose all that and I have to make it again? I'm gonna buy it. Stuff it. I'm buying it. So that's my multi tool. Where'd the other one go? Oh, where's. Hey, excuse me. Where'd you put my other one? Uh. This. Okay. How do I. Maybe I do it here? Are you guys all laughing at me because I just just lost my damn bolt caster thing? My uh, mining tool, which had everything on it that I needed? So... Yeah, how do I... Hang on, maybe it's from you. Maybe I can... I just gotta chat to you. Two Corvax. So I can sell you things, I can buy things from you. Um, but that's not what I want to do. What I need is like a crafting bench or something. Multi- oh here it is. Alright. Augment technology slots or improve multi-tool class. Expansion. Oh, okay. This is just upgrade. That's not what I want. I need a workbench. Starship research, exocraft. Oh, you know what? Even better than that. 
I should have got this. Upgrades. Oh no, this is for your craft. Yeah, I still need to know how to make one. Where do I... How do I access my other... How do I access my other one? My other multi-tool? It's not in my cargo. It's not on my suit, is it? I bought this thing and I can't use it? Are you kidding me? Oh, I can. There we go. Beautiful. Jeez. Got a little worried there. Yep. But I don't have... I don't know how to access it. This is a problem. Code Entity Den. As with many of their kind, the Corvax projects lights from around their visor. Request language skills. Activates their speech bar, so waiting to hear what I have to say. Entities. Code Entity Den flashes their visor lights, but says nothing. They seem to doubt my understanding of the word I have spoken. Great. Well, folks, I'm a bit stuffed here because I need my... I mean, I'm not really stuffed. It's just that it would be nice to access my other multi tool. Let's get our freebies. Got nothing to donate at the moment. Oh, no, I do. Can donate some salvage data. I have the rank of initiate. Let's give it up. Hopefully we made their day. Um... Yeah. <laughs> well, if you know, folks, please feel free to let me know. I'd be happy. I mean, maybe it's something I ought to go back to my base for, right? It could be that. I would have expected, like, a bench here or something to work with. This is like your transmog system and nothing more, right? And we have construct a new ship. We got... Purchase improvements for our star ship. There's nothing really for me to work over my my tools. All right, I'll leave that for now. We can always go back to our base over there. We'll go to that other uh, space station because we got this quest, the space anomaly. Maybe that'll help us. Maybe they're like, yeah, here, this is exactly where you gotta come. I've got your workbench right here, pal. As they smack me on the back of the head. And throw me in a pot. Whoa! Line it up. I think I'm lined up. Hopefully it is and it doesn't end I'm flying to Rush Shop again. 
Emergency broadcasting in local space. Slow down to intercept the sender. Abandoned vessel? Reject their lies. Follow us to freedom. The ship is broadcast the same message over and over in an endless loop. Its messages decayed over time, but there are still salvageable coordinates amid the noise. I shut down my receiver and input the coordinates to my starship's navigation systems. One final check reveals no life signs, no further intelligent message from the abandoned vessel. Now this is pod racing. Looks like Anakin's pod. Alright, interesting. But I came all this way. Let's go and see what's inside. docking approach go straight into the unicron This is different. This is different. Under a rebel star. 